The Book of Mormon recount, recounts the story of small Israelite groups headed by Lehi and Mulek that were brought from ancient Jerusalem to the American continent by the hand of the Lord. Prophets who taught of Christ were called from among this people for over a millennium, but eventually the people fell into apostasy and one branch of the civilization was destroyed. Modern prophets from Joseph Smith to the present have consistently taught that the remnant of the other branch, the Lamanites, are ancestors of modern Native Americans. Joseph Smith, prophet and translator of the Book of Mormon, stated, The Book of Mormon is a record of the forefathers of our western tribes of Indians, having been found through the ministration of a holy angel and translated into our own language by the gift and power of God. By it, we learn that our western tribes of Indians are descendants from that Joseph who was sold into Egypt. The Lord's revelations to Joseph Smith repeatedly refer to Native Americans as Lamanites. Dedicatory prayers of temples given by LDS prophets in Bolivia, Guatemala, Hawaii, Mexico, and Peru have proclaimed the descent of indigenous peoples from Lehi's colony. Elder Spencer W. Kimball declared, with pride I tell those who come to my office that a Lamanite is a descendant of one Lehi who left Jerusalem some 600 years before Christ and with his family crossed the mighty deep and landed in America. And Lehi and his family became the ancestors of all of the Indian and Mestizo tribes in North and South and Central America and in the islands of the sea. For in the middle of their history there were those who left America in ships of their making and went to the islands of the sea. In recent years, some critics have alleged their research demonstrating considerable homology between modern Native American, Mongolian, and Siberian DNA, as well as a seeming lack of homology between modern Jewish and Native American DNA, provides conclusive proof that the traditional LDS view of Native American origins is false. Some LDS defenders have attempted to explain the data by invoking limited geography theories proposing that Nephite and Lamanite activity was restricted to a small area in Central America and that any trace of Israelite DNA was lost by intermixing with larger indigenous people groups. A closer examination demonstrates that DNA evidence does not discredit traditional LDS views and that the views of critics are based on non-factual assumptions and unsupportable misinterpretations of genetic data. Critic Thomas Murphy writes that some of the most revealing research into Native American genetics comes from analysis of mtDNA and presents mitochondrial DNA data to support his conclusion that, ancient, uh, that uh, Native Americans could not possibly have an origin in ancient Israel. Over 98% of modern Native Americans tested to date carry mitochondrial DNA haplogroups A, B, C, or D. Outside of the Americas, these haplogroups are most commonly found in modern Mongolian and Siberian populations and are rarely found in modern Jews. Another 1% carry haplogroup X, which is also found in South Siberian, European, and Near Eastern populations. Mr. Murphy's arguments are based on the assumption that modern Jewish mtDNA accurately represents the mtDNA of ancient Israel. Findings that different Jewish groups share little mtDNA commonality, but closely reflect the mtDNA of their host populations flatly contradict Mr. Murphy's assumptions. Mitochondrial DNA studies have had little success in linking different Jewish groups, leading geneticists to discount mtDNA as being notoriously unreliable in ascertaining Jewish roots. The University College London study found that while different Jewish communities were founded by relatively few female ancestors, this process was independent in different geographic areas, and that the female ancestors of different Jewish communities were largely unrelated. Nicholas Wade wrote, a new study now shows that the women in nine Jewish communities from Georgia to Morocco have vastly different genetic histories from the men. The women's identities, however, are a mystery because their genetic signatures are not related to present-day Middle Eastern populations or to each other. Authors Mark Thomas and colleagues report, in no case is there clear evidence of unbroken genetic continuity from early dispersal events to the present. Unfortunately, in many cases, it is not possible to infer the geographic origin of the founding mtDNAs within the different Jewish groups with any confidence. Dr. Shea Cohen of Harvard University observed, the authors are correct in saying the historical origins of most Jewish communities are unknown. Even close mtDNA homologies would not necessarily prove an Israelite origin for the mtDNA of modern Jews, but the conspicuous absence of such homologies provides strong circumstantial evidence of non-Israelite origins for the mtDNA and much of the other genetic makeup of most modern Jews. 
with no evidence that modern Jewish mtDNA accurately represents the mtDNA of ancient Israel, and considerable evidence to the contrary, claims of Israelite lineage cannot be either confirmed or denied based on mtDNA data. Joseph's wife Asenath, daughter of Potiphera, priest of On, is the ancestral mother of the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh. While her genealogy is unknown, there is no reason to believe that her mitochondrial lineage or that of her descendants, including the Lehites, would have matched that of the tribe of Judah. The presence of mtDNA types in Native Americans that do not match those found in modern Jews is fully consistent with both Book of Mormon and Bible accounts. Mitochondrial DNA studies have demonstrated that Native Americans have less mtDNA diversity than any other large people group of comparable size, and even less diversity than the much smaller modern Jewish population. The DNA research of Dr. D. Andrew Merriweather has suggested that the mitochondrial genetics of Native Americans could be explained by a single migration, while others believe that there may have been two to four migrations of closely related people groups. One author wrote, most Indians of North America and all Indians of Central and South America seem to be descended from this initial wave of migrants. Similarities in Amerindian languages, as well as in DNA, point to the conclusion that a very small group of migrants give rise to this enormous, far-flung assemblage of peoples in a relatively short time. Genetic evidence of one or a few closely related founding groups serving as the ancestors of the overwhelming majority of Native Americans is fully consistent with traditional LDS views of Native American origins from the Lamanites, Nephites, <coughs> and Mulekites. Mr. Murphy presents only one example of an ostensibly non-Jewish group that he believes to be decisively confirmed by modern genetics to have at least some Israelite roots. The Lemba, which he mentions 10 times in order to highlight his contrast with Native Americans. He writes, Molecular anthropologists Neil Bradman and Mark Thomas have used the distinctive Cohen-modal haplotype to link ancient Hebrews to the modern population of the Lemba. The Lemba, a black Southern African Bantu-speaking population, draw upon their oral tradition, tr traditions to assert a Jewish ancestry. The Book of Mormon claims of an Israelite ancestry for Native Americans would certainly fit into this phenomenon. But DNA tests of claims by the Lemba yield a strikingly different outcome than we have seen with Mormon claims about Native Americans. Two studies have now demonstrated that one of the Lemba clans carries a high frequency of a particular Y chromosome termed the Cohen modal haplotype, which is known to be characteristic of the paternally inherited Jewish priesthood and is thought, more generally, to be a potential signature haplotype of Judaic origin. If the Book of Mormon documented actual Israelite migrations to the New World, then one would expect to find similar evidence to that found in a Lemba clan in one or more Native American populations. Such evidence, however, has not been forthcoming. The Cohen modal haplotype, or CMH, is a genetic marker postulated to be inherited from Aaron HaKohen, brother of Moses. This marker is believed to have originated approximately 3,000 years ago, a suitable time frame for a presumptive origin with the biblical Aaron. The CMH is found in approximately 45 to 55 percent of Ashkenazic and Sephardic Kohens, compared to just 2 to 3 percent of non Kohen Jews. It is also found in the Buba clan of the Lemba tribe of Zimbabwe, the Benai Menashe of India, and in several non-Jewish populations, including Armenians, Kurds, Hungarians, and Central and Southern Italians. The Book of Mormon account does not support Mr. Murphy's assertion that the CMH should have been present among the Lehites. We would not expect small Israelite groups that left Israel without Cohen priests to carry the Cohen modal haplotype. Lehi was a descendant of Joseph, Mulek, son of Zedekiah, was a descendant of Judah. While the lineages of Ishmael, Zoram, and the servants of Mulek are unknown, there is no textual evidence that Cohen priests were present among these groups. Had Cohen's been present, it seems unlikely that Lehi and other non-Cohen's could have officiated in ordinances like sacrifice that were restricted to Levite priests by the Mosaic law. Cohen's were specifically forbidden from intermarrying with other Israelites, accounting for the high frequency of the CMH in today's Jewish Cohen's and its presence in only two to three percent of non-Cohen Jews, even after an additional 26 centuries of intermixing. The presence of the CMH in diaspora Jewish groups with Cohen's, including the Lemba and B'nai Menashe, and its absence in Native Americans is an expected finding fully consistent with the Book of Mormon story. While he sharply criticizes traditional LDS views because of the lack of homology 
Between Native American and modern Jewish mtDNA, Mr. Murphy inexplicably fails to disclose that the Lemba have virtually no mtDNA commonality with other Jewish groups. Dr. Himla Sudyal noted that using mtDNA, the Lemba were indistinguishable from other Bantu-speaking populations. Murphy also fails to mention that in contrast to the Lehites and the last 10 tribes who left Israel over two and a half millennia ago, the Lemba are believed to be descended from Yemenite Jews who migrated to their current location in Zimbabwe less than a thousand years ago, representing a recent offshoot of post-diaspora Judaism. Yet it is only through the priestly Cohen modal haplotype that the Lemba have been identified as having a possible Jewish genetic origin at all.